डॉक्टर सुचि शर्मा जी डिस्टिंग स्पीकर ऑन द डायस और मेरे विद्वान साथियों सबसे पहले डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हायर एंड टेक्निकल एजुकेशन और ई लेट्स को मैं बधाई देना चाहूँगा आपने इतने अच्छा आयोजन किया है और मैं अपनी यूनिवर्सिटी की ओर से भी आपको ये कहना चाहूँगा कि वी आर हियर विद यू टू एंश्योर द फुल कॉपरेशन द टॉपिक गिवन टू मी इज़ वेरी रेलिवेंट एंड वेरी टॉपिकल एंड दैट इज़ द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इंडस्ट्री फॉर इनोवेशन एंड एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी नाउ बिफोर आई मेक माई इनिशियल ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड आई जस्ट टेक फाइव मिनट्स एंड आई जस्ट मेक about eight bullet points i would like to share with you eight bullet points what exactly we are doing to attempt the synergy of innovation with employability especially for industrial sector bullet number 1 and that is we have co-opted leading industrialists and employers into our academic council and board of studies so there is a permanent platform what we call is the academia industry matrix by way of academic council by way of board of studies this is bullet 1 point number 1 at the same time under the chairmanship of commissioner industries government of rajasthan we have formed a standing committee where i go as a vice chancellor my senior professor and the employers association of rajasthan the leading industrialists they come and we exchange ideas what exactly is the requirement of industry and what we are producing so there should not be huge gap there should not be a mismatch what the industry is needing and what we are producing so that was my observation number 2 number 1 co-opting industrialists and employers into the academic bodies and board of studies number 1 number 2 having a permanent platform for regular interaction between the academia and industry now third option what we call in our science language in situ skill development center let us have upskilling reskilling and niche skilling centers on the campus of industry itself because very fast our present labor force and our blue collar workers are getting obsolete so the crying need is we should have in situ training and upskilling facilities friends not only upskilling we'll have to do deskilling also because they have learned something which was not now being done the same way from physical we are moving on to digital space so deskill then reskill then upskill and ultimately go for the niche skilling that is what we should attempt next point point 4 we as a skill university of government of rajasthan we are allowed for the first time in the country concurrent award of diploma and certificates in skills concurrent award a normal student doing ba become bsc when they come out of the college they are not employable we all know it so ba become bsc while doing their normal undergraduate program they can also pursue our one year diploma six month certificate course and two year diploma simultaneously so when they pass out they are armed with say a normal bcom with one year diploma in e-commerce a normal bsc with one year diploma in artificial intelligence a normal ba with one year diploma in event management now these are the jobs my friends which can ensure and enhance the employability many fold and we we assure placement 100% placement if the students were to take these skill development courses concurrently as well as independently next point and that is that we have raised the bar so far as the learning on the job is concerned but at the same time we are lowering the bar when it comes to the award of certificates even 15 days 60 hours of credit two credits can be certified again concurrently or independently so any skill development center when they are skilling the youth or their workers we can certify even two credits that means 60 hours two weeks 
may be just upgradation. A new gadget has come. Our workers have to be trained on the new gadget, and they can be trained. So we, we have lowered our threshold, but at the same time raised the bar. Now, friends, now we have to move from physical to dig digital space very, very fast. Now, the physical presence will be required only to the extent that the students or the workers have to come and learn on the job. I visited the campus of Daikin in Nimrana, and they have a beautiful in-house facility for the training, and I offered, as a vice chancellor of my university, I offered them that this skill development center on your campus is an ideal example of in-situ upgradation of the manpower, which is existing there, and we can certify that, yes, Daikin's in-situ skill upgradation unit, which is upgrading the skills of labor force, they are certified by the Rajasthan State Skills University. So these are some of the issues we, I wanted to share. We have a galaxy of stars on our uh, stage. I would like to listen to them. And uh, on behalf of my university, I can say that if you were to join hand with my university, that is Rajasthan ILD Skills University, which is a government of Rajasthan University, we are offering 119 courses. We have traditional courses like yoga, wellness, agriculture. We have the new age courses like Internet of Things, machine learning, uh, big data analytics, VFX, animation, and they are hot and cake. And placement is 100%. Hot cakes are hotel management, fashion designing, fire safety, and all these courses are very, very, uh, very much in demand. And uh, one major decision I have taken, and I requested Suchi Sharmaji, our secretary, technical and higher education. Formal request has been sent to Pradeep Borod Sahib, Commissioner Higher Education, that our industry has taken a decision to grant free of cost affiliation to 300 government colleges and whatever number of engineering colleges they want to join hands. Free of cost, affiliation will be granted so that engineering and polytechnic and the normal students who are pursuing their normal courses, they can, what they call, garnish their profile, add to their profile so when they come to the job market, they are ready to be employed. We have to make them employable. Recently, I visited Dubai. My elder son is there for the last 15 years, so I visited Dubai every, every year. I go at least three times. This time I visited their academic city. In one academic city of, say, 10,000 acres, they have got 27 universities at one place, 35,000 students. And their one line motto of the entire UAE government is making graduates employable. Three words, making graduates employable. That should be our challenge with this. I would like to close my presentation with the request that let us work together and ensure. Thank you very much.